Good afternoon, everyone. If you can hear my voice, I just entered the June Keys penguin habitat. Just got done feeding our birds some lunch. It's the second of three feeds that they get today. Our birds are getting ready for their molting season. Magellanic penguins and all penguins actually go through something called a catastrophic molt. They have to replace their feathers once a year because those feathers are what keep them dry in the water. You can actually see some uh, air being released when they dive down. And that's, there's a layer of skin and air and sometimes those bubbles are released to help them with uh, speed or buoyancy. But it really gives you a good opportunity to see the structure of their feathers when they're in the water. Again, their, their skin does stay 100% dry. This young man in the middle here, he is kind of falling asleep. This was our juvenile chick from last year, but he just went through his molt. So he doesn't look like a subadult or a juvenile anymore. We only have three penguins that look like that, but they're not quite ready to go out on exhibit just yet. So this is Gats, sporting his new adult look. He was a lot more gray and muted as a chick. Those feathers really pop out now. Magellanic penguins are members of the banded penguin family, along with the African humble and Galapagos penguin. But Magellanics are the only ones with two bands. We have had 13 chicks hatch here at the Aquarium of the Pacific. Three of them are behind the scenes right now in our penguin holding pool. They're spending more and more time behind our exhibit. So if at 3.45 you're still here, definitely head on over to the otter exhibit. I will have our penguin chicks in a cart, and I'll talk a little bit about them before they go back to their nursery. They all hatched in the middle of May. Magellanic penguins only have a breeding season once a year. They follow a very strict cycle. They spend over 75% of their life in the water. They really only come to land to breed or to molt. If you're just joining us, this is our June Keys Penguin Habitat, home to, right now, 20 Magellanic Penguins, but we have 23 total. Three of those chicks are behind the scenes. If you want to get up close and personal with our penguins, we do offer penguin encounters every Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. You have an opportunity to either meet a penguin in the front, or meet a penguin on the front and go on exhibit if you buy our VIP encounter. It's a pretty cool opportunity to get nice and close to our Magellanic penguins. And this is our sixth breeding season on exhibit. These birds do mate for life, so they are very bonded with one another. And four of them were actually rescued from Rio de Janeiro in Brazil. It's pretty far north from where you typically find these guys. You usually find them in Chile and Argentina. We think they got lost along their way, looked for some food, couldn't find it, and ended up in Rio, Brazil, where they were able to be rehabilitated but not re-released. They were deemed unreleasable, so we were able to give Robbie, Roxy, Kate, and Avery a home. And this bird I'm hanging out with up on deck here, his name is Fisher. He is Kate and Avery's second chick. They are both Brazilian rescue birds, so genetically, Kate and Avery are pretty important penguins. They all are, but they're a part of a protective breeding population. So genetically, they're a little bit different than everybody else. Some of our birds did come from the San Francisco Zoo, so they're all related to each other. Again, if you're interested in our penguin parade, that's going to take place at 345 in front of our otter habitat. I just got done feeding our birds some lunch. Not everybody ate, but everybody has now had at least one. Thank you guys for hanging out and enjoying the aquarium. We are a nonprofit institution, so your paid admission is going right back to these animals, whether it's to give them the food, the care, 
or the enrichment that they need. Thank you guys so much and enjoy the rest of your day here.